Hey guys, I was just gifted an NFT and I was told that I can sell it on OpenSea to earn some extra income, which I'm a hustler. I love to do that. So fun fact, I have never sold an NFT before. I have a few NFTs, but I've never sold one. I've never created one. So I figured this would be a great opportunity to showcase to you guys how to list an NFT on OpenSea. And it's fairly easy. First step, you head over to OpenSea.io. Make sure you're on OpenSea.io. And if you're not sure that, that you're on OpenSea.io because you have to be careful of people that are trying to hack you and fish you because I'm gonna be using MetaMask for purposes of this video, make sure to go to their socials, go to their Twitter page and make sure it is the correct one. Never just click random links or Google stuff, especially in crypto. Also too, if you're using MetaMask, when you are done on OpenSea, make sure to disconnect MetaMask from OpenSea and lock your wallet. Be safe here. So first step, sign into your wallet. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. It's already connected to my wallet. And I actually wanna show you guys the NFTs I have. So this is my NFT over here. I own her, she is mine. Um, but what we wanna do is we actually want to go ahead and sell her because why not? So I'm gonna go ahead and click sell. And on this sell area here, it gives me different methods to sell. I can go ahead and set a price, sell at a fixed or declining price, highest bid, auction style, or bundle. I can go ahead and sell it in a bundle with others. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna go ahead and just put highest bid. I think that's pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. And please bear with me, this is the first time I'm actually utilizing the platform. So so my minimum bid, I'm gonna go ahead and put two, 0.2 ETH on there. Um, for the reserve price, it's going to be a, um, a create a hidden limit by setting a reserve price. So basically what a reserve price is, it is the minimum, like they have, or excuse me, they actually have to hit up to that price of so the minimum that you would accept, but you can go ahead and start bids lower. This is a very standard practice on eBay. And then I've got my expiration date here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set it to never. I'm not gonna let it expire. Oh, an expiration date must be set for this type of listing. So I have to have um, a certain expiration date. Um, in this particular price, let's just go ahead and do a week to see what happens. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and post my listing, which is really cool. The bounties over here, OpenSea rewards 1% to register affiliates who refer the buyer. Um, and then fees, these are gonna be the different fees. To OpenSea, it's gonna be 2.5 to Ape only. They're gonna get 10%, so it's gonna be a total of 12%. That's fine to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and post my listing. One thing you need to know, guys. So to initialize your account first, um, OpenSea, um, you have to allow OpenSea to sell items in your account. You must first complete a fee plus gas transactions. Keep this tab open and wait for um, the blockchain to confirm your action. This only needs to be done, done once. Right now, gas fees are pretty high. They're about $115. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So I'm going to confirm it and wait for my transaction to go through. And then I can go ahead and list my cute little ape only gal thing I've got. Now, unlock all tokens of this type for trading. I'm going to have to spend more gas. So it's going to be about another $13. So we'll go ahead and confirm that we're gonna be waiting waiting for blockchain confirmation we're just gonna wait and wait and wait because ethereum takes forever as much as i love ethereum and i do have a fat bag it takes forever yay now it's finally listing my item just accept the signature request and wait for us to process your listing which i've already done that okay so now they want me to give them a email address and a nickname so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and it looks like i have to sign again Okay, so overall, that was actually a very, very easy process. The only gripe that I have is that it was expensive. It was around $150 to get this thing set up. Either way, it was a lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching.